Hello souls, how are you? It's time for another miraculous reading. Today we are going to make another raw reading and the topic I choose is Was Megan flirting with Nacho, Harry's friend? So we are going to check what her intentions were towards her husband's friend, what uh, are the impressions that she left in Nacho and what Nacho's wife Delfina thinks about Megan. We're going to check also how Harry feels about the situation. So if you're curious, stay till the end of this video and please don't forget to like and subscribe. I remind you that all the information in this video is alleged. So let's start with the first question, which is what were Megan's intentions towards Nacho? We know that she's touchy touchy, but I want to check if there's some attraction and more of this. Perhaps she wanted to make Harry jealous or just to show herself as more seductive. Let's see what were her intentions towards Nacho. Okay. So we have three of pentacles, eight of cups. Temperance, Ace of Cups, and Four of Pentacles. Here we have situation where she feels a little bit bored and uh, annoyed with her family life. And uh, indeed her intentions was to make uh, people think that uh, there's something going on between her and Nacho, perhaps some love triangle. But the reason is that she doesn't feel satisfied from emotional point of view in her family. She doesn't receive uh, what she wants to receive. It's not enough for her. We have the Eight of Cups, where usually should be a pyramid with 10 cups, but two are missing and this person walks away. So she, she didn't have uh, the intention to start something, but she wanted to dream of it. Temperance card shows that she wanted to use the opportunity and she actually doesn't uh, see herself next to Nacho, but she wanted to use this situation and to mix two things that are usually not matching. And uh, she felt that this was the right thing to do with the Ace of Cups. She wanted to express something emotional, some kindness as well. But uh, there's no physical attraction with the Four of Pentacles. This card shows stagnation and uh, something that she wants to keep to herself. So she doesn't feel attracted by Nacho. What is Nacho, Nacho's opinion on Megan? How he felt after this situation that was uh, also being in the media was promoted by several outlets how Nacho felt after afterwards seven of cups he felt perplexed and eight of once he didn't expect such attention 
she was confused with the two of pentacles and didn't uh, see it coming page of pentacles he doesn't know what to do but um, he sees this also as some sort of opportunity with the page of uh, with the knight of pentacles and he believes that uh, long term he could have some benefit from this situation for the moment he's uh, pretty confused and he didn't expect at all that kind of attention public attention towards him but he's not uh, going to take any action for the moment he's going to play it safe he's making some plans long-term plans uh does he want does he feel attracted by megan magician yes he finds her mysterious and uh, he finds her also um, very manipulative he believes that she can do and achieve whatever she wants and she um, finds her magical a little bit like somebody who can achieve whatever they want so he recognizes her qualities and she stands out from the crowd he finds her exotic with the seven of wands but um, too full of herself with the nine of cups justice and uh, a little bit judgmental like she always wants to have opinion on something and she doesn't um in, in his opinion she doesn't see she doesn't see nuances everything is black or white good or bad she cannot recognize that uh, a bad person could have also good qualities and vice versa like uh, somebody who's doing something good could do at the same time something really bad and uh, mainly he sees her as somebody who is uh, overindulging. We have two nines, nine of pentacles, nine of cups. These are two personality traits that, are, that uh, speak about somebody who likes to indulge themselves, somebody who likes uh, good quality things. And uh, it's a little bit spoil spoiled. How Nacho's wife, Delfina, felt after this situation and all the attention from the media. How Delfina felt. After the situation, was she jealous or hurt? <laughs> King of Wands, Nine of Swords. So, um, King of Wands uh, usually depicts a womanizer kind of man and um, also the latino lover so she um in her opinion her husband likes beautiful women and he's attracted to beautiful women so she felt stressed out about this situation she that she didn't feel very well She didn't show it though as uh, she believes that uh, she's able to be faithful within their marriage 
and she believes uh, that she can trust him. Like she's a, this kind of a person who doesn't want to think, to think bad about others. And she wants to, she prefers to be even being fooled at the moment, but she believes like in higher power of higher powers and uh, in good faith. She's very, um, she's a believer and she just in natural, although she, she knows that uh, he likes beautiful women. And the last question, how Harry felt after this situation or this attention from the media and insinuations that there's something going on between Megan and his friend. Was he jealous? He seems a little bit insecure, but let's see how he felt actually. Ten of Pentacles, <laughs> King of Swords. Usually Harry appears as the King of Swords. Ten of Swords. He felt backstabbed. He believes that he has more, more um, money, more like a family background. Compared to Nacho, he has higher status, but uh, and he played cool, but uh, he felt backstabbed and betrayed. Six of Pentacles. He likes to be in the position of uh, in a higher position, like uh, he's making a favor to his friends to play with them or to be um, part of their group and he he felt like mm, the other person uh, did not recognize the good gesture, gesture he was doing to them was he jealous Ten of Cups. This is the picture perfect family, but it's also like a facade, empty facade, and behind it we see the Three of Swords. So he's not secure. He's, uh, yes, he felt very hurt and uh, jealous. He's not that secure as he portrayed it, like everybody's cool, everybody's friends here, and we are one big happy family. Actually, he was hurt, and uh, some inner conflict started within him. Page of Pentacles. He felt once again like a little child. And so there's some childhood trauma that uh, was triggered, like he felt that he's not the chosen one. Page of Cups once again. He felt compared to some other boy and like he's not the preferred one. So what will happen between Nacho and Harry? Is they going to terminate their friendship or they're going to be still friends? What is the prediction for their friendship? Five of Swords, they're going to fight and they're going to make like nasty comments 
towards each other. It could be also under the form of a joke, but uh, it seems like a war is starting here. So that was today reading, uh, my dear souls. Thank you very much for watching it till the very end. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.